in Film Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to do this request. Hi, Master. <laughs> nice to meet you. I live in Sao Paulo, Brazil. In my point of view, your channel is the best place to learn hit film. Well, thank you. Please, if possible, someday, do a video about a countdown and a number in a video. Hey, we can do that in three, two, one. So this effect is actually really easy to do. I'm going to start by creating a new composite shot, and it needs to be the length of whatever the timer is. In this case, I'm just going to leave it at 30 seconds, and I'm going to call it timer. Click OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new plane layer, and it's going to be black, and it will actually be my timer that I'm going to put my timer on, or the, the place where I put my timer on. In the effects panel, I'm going to look for time code effect. Generate a time code effect, and I'm going to drop it on that plane. So now when you play it, that time code is just going up and up and up until it gets to 30 seconds, which is as long as it is, okay? Now all I have to do is add a new grade layer, and then in that grade layer, I'm just going to add the time reverse effect. And so now it's starting at 30, and essentially counting down to zero. How about that? And it's really that easy. Now, how do you get this to be transparent again? What I would do is just add a demult key to it, uh, to the actual plane itself, and then you could drop that on any clip or over the top of any clip in your editor timeline, and it'll be good to go. So that's pretty much it. In a nutshell, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, Thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.